Hey guys, welcome back to more Chrono Trigger for the Nintendo DS. I'm the only Python for a slice of gaming. And last time we left off, we parked ourselves right where we needed to be in the future. So let's go talk to Balthazar and see how we can go about bringing Chrono back to life. And I do recommend getting the doppelganger doll that we picked up in Chrono's house that you win from Beckler's tent at the Millennium Fair before going here, because you'll just need it anyways. Death Peak harbors a power capable of restoring the slain to life. But the power to reverse death is not one easily invoked. The need must be great, and the person's existence of utmost importance. And what's more, you'll need a double, a doll identical to that person in every detail. This is why we need the doll to begin with. Then, and only then, will the power deign to hatch the egg. Yes, that will do quite well. It seems the time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It is the only chance you have of reviving your friend. I've implanted one final program, truly, I mean it this time, in this construct's memory bank. It will help you it will help to guide you up the mountain. Please stand back. Doll. That's going to help us out somehow? I suppose we'll find out once we get to Death Peak. I mean, we've been there before, so I can grab that capsule way, way back a long time ago. And we were just blown back, so hopefully this will help us. The three entities you saw will aid you on Death Peak. This ends my message. Now I must ask you for a favor. This construct has reached the end of its final program. Please let him rest. The switch is on his stomach. Balthazar has helped us long enough. I think it's time to let him rest. Time no longer appears to flow for this construct. Thank you for everything, Balthazar. For your wings of time and for your help. So let's see how these dolls are going to help us in Death Peak here, if I can actually get out of this house. Not a good start. So this part is going to be extremely tricky to start off with. Walk when the wind dies down and hide behind the trees when it picks up strength. So basically what you want to do is you want to go right up to the tree and make sure you don't move at all. Because otherwise, if you move ever so slightly, you will fail and you will be kicked out of the place. And there are two trees you have to do this on. I like to walk whenever I get near the tree just because it helps me not get blown back. And I'm surprised I actually did that in the first try. Because usually I fail a whole lot. So, we have a brand new enemy here that actually hits quite hard. And it absorbs your strength after you're done with it. And this is probably a really good place for Magus to level up, and there's the Guardian Helmet in work for him already. You can see that he has Protect on, and he's in his Guard pose as well. Since he is still underleveled, I do recommend putting it on him, because he's going to need all the defense he can get. And a whole bunch of dual attacks between Robo and Frog have been learned, and I'll be showing them off in the next battle here. Of course, we're going to pop open this chest for a magic ring, and we're going to have to get that chest in a little bit here. There's actually no way to get it right now. It's interesting that the wind blows us down this hill. It still kind of works. So let's show off the dual tech here. First things first, frog launcher. I like that one of their dual techs is throw a frog at things, and the other one is throw, throw robo at things. Might as well just finish this thing off before it can even do any attacks, because as I mentioned, it does hit rather hard. So up here we go into the next section, and this battle will spawn a new monster that we haven't seen before, the Macabre. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If it's not, then whatever. Let's wait. Yeah, see, there's the strong hit there. 
Bubble Breath. Drop Robo on an enemy. Just just whenever you learn or use a tech at all in this place, sometimes the snow will stop falling. You'll see it when Magus does his thing. See, there we go. Suddenly it's cleared. Techs are pretty good against those things because they are seem to be weak to magic. Also, I will explore this place later with Ayla just to see if there's anything good to steal. For now, you want to avoid going in that cavern if possible, because I recommend going to the little safe point first, which is down on the right-hand side that we're going to after this, because there's a boss battle as soon as you walk in there. And it can be quite a tough battle, too. We brought Frog here for that reason, because he can heal everybody. So let's go to the save point first, so that way we can heal up. Rest with a shelter in case you need to. First I want to explore this top half here just to see if there's any monsters. Yep, there's a chest, not a monster. Clear out this map too, because that's, I just like doing that. Alright, now we can use the shelter. Just wanted to make sure, before we used it, that it wasn't a waste. Because I hate wasting things. I hate using healing items and then... Lo and behold, there's a shelter spot right there. We're getting into a battle shortly after and having that wasted. So let's walk on in here and see what's lying in wait for us. It might be kind of a surprise. Hello. The lava spawn. So whatever you do, do not attack the shell. Just don't. Because anytime you attack the shell, it will counter with that attack that it just did. And as you can see, it's actually quite a strong attack, so to help yourself not get the damage and avoid the damage, because avoiding damage is a good thing, don't attack the shell. So avoid using any techniques that attack both things. So for example, lightning 2, ice 2, fire 2, not a good thing to use, because you will also be countered. So Frog and Robur are going to be the ones who are mostly going to be attacking. Magus is going to be there for item backup and healing in case anybody needs it. Or healing, healing status ailments because it does like to cast sleep, as you can see. So let's heal up here quickly, just because I don't like it when I'm low. Oh, good. Confuse. Fantastic. Marley is also a good choice here because she can heal status ailments. Or you can just go item and use a healing thing anyways if I can find where it is. Pansia! I, I had it the whole time. There we go. Now we have our main attackers back. I'm just waiting for Robo to have his turn. There we go. So now we can use Frog Launcher or... Actually, Bubble Breath is better because it only attacks one. I like that Frog, uh... Frog's Throat does a croaking thing in order for that to attack to even work. It's interesting. And Robo has learned his last tech, I believe. Let me just take a look and see, just to check. I don't know why I go all the way the other way, but whatever. Yes, he has. Oh no, he hasn't. Electrocute is the last thing. Speaking of Robo, he now has a new piece of equipment that we just got. Arm dealing, capable of dealing a mighty wallop. I like the sounds of that. So we can use this to proceed along, but I think I'm going to just go rest quickly. So I'll be right back as I go back and do that. Okay, so I went to heal up, and I also got slightly distracted and I got Megas to learn two new techniques. So that's what happens when you let me go and do things. So I might as well just show them off. They're a good example. 
So the first thing he has is this lovely, lovely Dark Bomb, which is his first darkness attack. And look at that casting animation. Amazing. And it does so much damage. And it only costs 8 MP, which is the same as Lightning 2, Fire 2, Ice 2. Next thing he learned is Barrier, which helps allies magic defense increase. So that's fun. So? Oh, I thought you were new. I guess I don't really have to show off the other tech because you've seen it all before. So let me just edit this battle out. So battle has been taken care of. Hooray. Can't go over there quite yet, and there's a chest just waiting for me to get to it. So let's get to it. Before that, I have to explore every little inch of everything. I love the doubt that this whole thing just seems extremely pointless, except this over here. Suddenly, there's a new part that opens up. Interesting how that works. But uh, there's a battle here, as you saw like five seconds ago, so I'm going to take care of it. So that battle has been taken care of. wonder if I can avoid this one. If not, then I'll just dark bomb all the things. Nope. I would edit this out, but dark bomb casting animation is just the coolest thing in the world. At least I think it is. Megas has the best animations for everything. I can never stop being impressed with it. Besides, that only took five seconds. Also, I forgot to mention, if you have Ayla in your party, you can steal an elixir from the lava spawn that we fought before. I suppose I should edit this out, and, uh, or not, whatever. It only takes two seconds. Maybe more. Oh no, it's taking ten seconds! Oh no, it's taking fifteen seconds! I do recommend going to rest because I think there is another level spawn that we have to worry about. So, rest up. This is why the save point is here. Rest up always. Plus we have Dark Bomb, so nothing to worry about. Well, actually, you don't want to use Dark Bomb. Oh, suddenly you. Hi. New sickle for Magus. We're just gonna avoid you, so please excuse me. Actually, we won't. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go fight this thing. I need experience. I can never ignore a good random battle. Besides, Robo was able to learn Electrocute just because of that battle. Oh, look what's waiting for us. Another one of these! And there's actually another one waiting for us, too. So, once again, if Ayla is in your party, she can steal another elixir from this thing. So the battle is the same as the previous level spawn, don't attack the gel because otherwise it will counter you. So what you want to do as per usual with these two is just use your best stuff. Not frog launcher, but bubble breath because it seems to do quite a bit of damage. And also I got extremely distracted by other stuff. And I actually went back to a certain point where we fought the three blood yokes and the one macabre thing. And I decided to level slightly, well enough for that Magus can learn his next technique. I'm not going to show it off now because, well, this thing's dead, but I'll show it off in the next random battle we get. I also Robo learned Electrocute too, so I need to show that off as well. He didn't drop anything this time. That's terrible. Oh, what's this? The footing here is icy and slick. Be careful, fall, and you'll have to start over. Oh, good. Uh, should I just walk? Nope. Oh, good. I have to start all the way from here. Well, it's actually not that bad. To be fair. This is why I don't like Death Peak. And also, we run into that thing all the time. But... 
That's okay, because you're going to be a perfect example of Dark Mist. And that's why Megas is awesome. If I run into that thing again, I'll show off Electrocute. And then, if I just fail all the time, I will just edit out all my failures. Yeah, we know the... whatever. Putting here is icy. Oh! Oh, I fell off the back of it. Okay. That's interesting. Anyways, as promised, I might as well show off Electrocute. Because, why not? And then I'll just make out any sort of edits that I continue to fail. So, where is it? Did I show this off? I don't think I did. Unfortunately, Robo doesn't explode himself and then reattach his body. I don't know why I would think that would be the best thing ever, but I do. All the way back. Alright, note to self, don't do what I did before. Let's take it carefully. That's not careful. I didn't make it farther than I did. But you know what that means, right? I get to show off Electrocute for real this time. I don't mind, because I get to get more experience. Plus, look how awesome that looks. I thought the triangle would be bigger. Well. Oh well. So now, with that, Robo has learned all the text that he can, other than the dual text that he hasn't learned quite yet. So I'm gonna make one more attempt to this, and if it fails, then I will just edit out. Oh, of course. Of course it does. I will just edit out, and I will meet you guys in a moment when I cross over the thing properly. So I'll we'll see you guys in a second. We did it! And now everything's falling. But the wonderful part is, if we run into a random battle here, we get to fight a whole bunch of things. But I'm actually not going to because I want that chest. So we'll try. But we failed. And you know what that means. We get to dark mist all the things! Finally we get the front view of that animation that I still think is amazing. It's probably a huge waste of tech, but hey, I like to be a show-off. What can I say? I think at some point too when I'm not, uh, Recording. I'm going to come back here with Magus, and we are going to level him up a bit. Along with anybody else who needs some dual text to be learned, or just text in general, which I think is just Luca and Marley at this point. Push the shell. Climb the shell. Push the shell. Climb the shell. We'll remember that. Probably not. Also down here, we can finally get that chest that we saw a long time ago. And the Dark Helm for Magus. Might as well put that on him, except it's terrible and half shadow damage, so I'm not sure how that would be good. So, at this point, we are also going to shelter it up, because I have 500 shelters and I can. And we can continue. Up here so we can push the shell and climb the shell. So if I'm reading this right, let's see if I am. I know before I said don't attack the shell, but he said to clearly push the shell. Does that push it? It doesn't. Alright, I think after the battle is over we can push the shell and climb the shell, so let's do our usual thing against this thing. Usual thing against the thing that does the other thing. Makes sense, right? And then we can go heal after because, once again, I have 500 shelters and I don't care. So let's do our usual thing. So, aerial strike. Awesome attack. I kinda wish Magus gets a singular attack. I don't know if he does or not. I don't actually remember. Find out. A 
That should be almost... Oh, no. Not yet. You know, if the lava spawns were this weak, it makes you wonder how strong the actual lavas is. I mean, we did get ourselves handed to last time we you know, tried to attack him. But I just think that was just plump trying to be like, yep. Alright. This is a little bit creepy, I have to say. Because suddenly now there's just this empty husk of where Lavos was. In case you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going to my favorite thing in the world. This. Besides, next time we go to the shops, I can actually have an excuse to... spend all my money and then not just walk out. Let's push the shell and climb the shell. That is just the weirdest thing. And I like that we're just freaking out about it, too. You have to push it. Push it in there. Oh, no. Avoid it. Push it. In there. Why do I keep going through it now? Oh, I'm, I'm pushing it the wrong direction. Okay, can I push it out of this corner that I backed myself into? There we go. Push the shell here. I don't know why I still keep going through it, but I do. There. Now we can climb the shell, if it wants it to climb. There we go. Wait, hold on. There we go. I had a feeling I was forgetting something. Red's lock. That is actually a good thing to have, because now we can do stuff against those things that like to lock. be good, other than you. Actually, it wouldn't be very good with you. Oh, you can have the Dark Hell. There you go. And... Oh, it prevents stop and slow. That's what that time hat does. I see. I, I understand. So, it looks like this thing sucks, and I won't give it to anybody right now, because we're not even dealing with those rebels. So, who cares? This is it, the summit of Death Peak. You who fear the night and stand against darkness, lend us your strength. Chrono. The pendant's reacting. Someone I think I should have Marley for this scene, but oh well. It's shattered! It was folly to come here. All this and for naught. Please do not despair. We place too much hope in bringing Chrono back. Chrono, answer us! That's one way to answer a question is to cause an eclipse. A time freeze. I never dreamt it possible. Like stone statues. An unsettling sight. It appears that time has been suspended. Changed nothing. We just need to exchange the double doll for Krona. What a relief, Sir Krona. Thank goodness you're all right. I'd remain here no longer than we must. Let us be gone. Save the tearful reunion for later. If we've done all we must, then let us be on our way. You 
know, at this point you can take Shell out of the picture too, if you wanted. Throw that out there. Good of you to return, Chrono. Oh, Sir Chrono, it is a relief to have us with you again. Have you with us again. You should be thankful. You are blessed to be so loved by everyone. You lucky, lucky fool. that he just has no reaction to this. So I think we're going to end this part here. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, see you later.